What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about should the Pistons draft K Cunningham or Jalen Green. Since Pistons fans been showing love on the channel, I made this video just for y'all. So make sure y'all drop a like on the video. Even if you're not a Pistons fan, make sure y'all drop a like on the video. Now, most Pistons fans want K Cunningham, but some Pistons fans want Jalen Green. I know a few people sub to the channel who are Pistons fans want K Cunningham, and some of y'all want Jalen Green. So we're going to settle the debate right now in the comments pissing fans drop who you want in the comments even if you're not a pissing fan drop in the comments who should be the number one overall pick now i'm gonna give y'all my personal opinion who should be the number one overall pick now i'm a huge jalen green fan but i'm not gonna be biased in this video i'm gonna give my honest opinion so make sure y'all stay tuned to the end of the video on who i think should be the number one overall pick now first let's talk about k cunningham k cunningham is the more polished prospect he's a true point guard who is 6'8 so being that tall really will help him in the nba he can run an offense he's not all about getting a bucket yeah he can go get a bucket for you but he's the type of player who will make the players around him better he can run an offense and facilitate like a true point guard Cade is a playmaker high basketball IQ he can shoot from three and him being 6'8 he has the potential to be a lockdown defender in the NBA Cade Cunningham might be one of the clutchest players in the 2021 NBA draft he made a lot of big shots at Oklahoma State so he's not afraid of the moment he will take the big shot having the clutch gene you can't teach that it's either you got it or you don't and Cade Cunningham definitely has it so whoever gets Cade Cunningham is going to get a clutch type of player Cade has good off-ball awareness and knows when to make rotations and switches, so he has the potential to be a great defender in the NBA. Cade is not afraid to get physical when playing defense. Also, he has a good post game. He can take smaller guards and get an easy bucket. Only weakness I see in Cade Cunningham's game is that he's not that athletic and he lacks quickness and explosion. But other than that, Cade is going to be a solid prospect. Now, let's talk about Jalen Green. Jalen Green is a human highlight reel, and he's going to put fans in the stands. He probably will have the best-selling jersey for all all rookies he's definitely more athletic than k cunningham he has the potential to be one of the most electric players in the league his ability to make highlight worthy plays will definitely keep fans coming to games and he will sell tickets for any nba team that drafts him because he's going to be box office for any team that drafts him jalen green will make sure fans are in the stands jalen green is at his best when he's driving to the rim that's literally what Jalen Green game is, is getting to the rim for an easy lay or dunking on people and putting people on posters. So Jalen Green does need to develop a jump shot, but Jalen Green, when he's driving to the rim plugins, y'all already know how Jalen Green get down. He is unstoppable when he's getting to the rim. Jalen Green's style of play when he's driving to the rim reminds me of like Ja Morant or like Russell Westbrook, how it's his full head of steam, getting to the rim, dunking the ball as hard as you can, putting people on posters. He reminds me of Ja Morant and Russ Westbrook when it comes to driving to the rim. So I just want to throw that out there. Jalen Green can be like a Ja Morant or Russell Westbrook in the NBA. Like that style of play, that's how Jalen Green's style of play can be in the NBA. Jalen Green is a gifted shot creator. He can create his shot in many different ways by using step backs and jab steps. He's not a good passer like Kate Cutting, but he's willing to give the ball to his teammates. He won't be a ball hawk. As far as defense goes, Jalen Green has the athletic ability to be a good on-ball defender in the NBA. Only weakness I see in Jalen Green game is he needs to be more consistent with his jump shot and not fall in love with just driving to the rim. Jalen Green can't be one dimensional in the NBA. He needs to have a reliable jump shot to keep defenders honest. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. My opinion on who should be the number one draft pick in the 2021 NBA draft. And honestly, I'm going to go with K. Cunningham. K. Cunningham is just a better overall player. But I'm a huge fan of Jalen Green and both prospects will be superstars in the NBA. Let's not forget in the 2020 class, Jalen Green was number one and Kate Cunningham was number two. Now, in the 2021 NBA draft, they might go one and two. So that's pretty cool to see that happening. If Jalen Green didn't skip college for the NBA G League, we probably wouldn't be having this debate on who should be the number one pick in the 2021 NBA draft because he could have went to college and put up crazy numbers. Maybe been in March Madness putting on a show and been a lock for the number one pick. But we'll never know how things would have played out if he went to college and instead of the G League because he went to the NBA G League. <laughs>
So, Pistons fans, let me know in the comments who would you rather have with the number one pick, Jalen Green or Kay Cunningham. Let me know. Honestly, y'all shouldn't be mad who y'all get because y'all going to get a superstar caliber player. But let me know in the comments who do y'all want for the number one pick. All right, that's it for this video. If you made it this far, make sure you drop a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, become part of the family, and drop a like on the video. Piston fans, I'm wishing y'all nothing but the best on draft day. Hopefully, y'all get y'all man. Hopefully, y'all get the player that y'all want. Also, I'm going to try to drop some more NBA draft videos. So, make sure y'all turn on your post notifications, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Till next time.